playing with my iPod, man. Oh. Yeah, it's passcode locked, so I can't really do anything else with it. Well, why don't you just restore it? You're right. Let's restore it. Al, you, if you're anything like me right now, and you've got an iPod Touch first gen that you don't know the passcode to, or it's iTunes disabled, you'll need to restore it. So the first thing that we're gonna do, always, turn the iPod off. I'm gonna hold down the home button on the iPod while I plug it into the computer. That'll put it into recovery mode. There you go. Now typically all you have to do is hit, okay, restore, restore and update. It'll prompt you to download some software, but with the first gen iPod touch, it says the iPod software update server cannot be contacted. So what's going on here is when you request software from Apple with iTunes for restore, Apple actually no longer hosts iOS 1.1.5 for the iPod touch first gen. I've seen countless Reddit threads, YouTube videos, people asking how to restore iPod Touch first gen, so here's how we do it. I'm gonna do macOS Mojave. We'll do macOS Ventura, the latest version. We're gonna do a tutorial for Windows 10 slash Windows 11, and then we're gonna do an old PowerPC Mac. So the first thing that you need is the firmware file itself. We downloaded iOS 3.1.3 for the iPod Touch first generation, which I'm hosting down below on this Google Drive link. Download below. Here's how you restore an iPod Touch first gen on Mac OS Mojave. Now this is iTunes running natively. I'm gonna hold down Alt Option while I click Restore. It's gonna bring up a Finder window. We're gonna locate my 3.1.3 IPSW, which is on my desktop. Go ahead and hit Open, and iTunes restores the iPod no problem, which is sweet. Thumbs up, drop a like. When the iPod has been restored successfully, it's gonna show this screen. This is not recovery mode. If you can see the battery charge icon, it's actually sort of on the hello, the setup screen. All it means is you have to plug it into iTunes and you activate it and then it'll be unlocked. We're on Mac OS Montre, about to restore this iPod Touch first gen. Managing devices is now done in the Finder. So you'll have to open up a Finder window and you'll see your iPod in the sidebar here. Now I'm gonna attempt it once, normally, through the Finder. So the iPod software update server cannot be contacted. So once again, we're gonna hold down the left Alt Option key while we click Restore. We're gonna select our firmware file, which is on my desktop, the 3.1.3. And it looks like it's gonna do it. So once again, guys, the link for this IPSW software file is in the description, the Google Drive link. I'm hosting it for everyone to have. All right, so we've got the iPod in DFU mode here. Mac OS is detecting it in DFU mode. So we're gonna do the same method, restore, find our software file, and it spits out this error about requesting the iPod specifically be booted into DFU mode, and it is. So I'm not sure how to make sense of that error message. We're gonna come over here. It looks like it's working. So if you do encounter that DFU mode error, the only good advice I can give is just trying a different machine. So we've got my PowerBook G4 12 inch here. It's on OS 10.5, and the method is the exact same, holding down Alt Option, selecting your software file. Not sure too many of you are gonna be using a Power PC based Mac to restore them, but I thought I'd include it because I do quite often. This thing is a beast for restoring iPod classics, particularly the ones that support FireWire data and the iPod Classic first and second can kind of throw a fit on modern operating systems, but they work seamlessly with these old PowerPC Macs. But next up, we've got Windows 10 running on the Trashbook Pro right here. It's a rough shape. Got the iPod powered off. Gonna hold down the home button while we plug it in. Now this is 3U Tools. It's an alternative to iTunes. It's also a little more robust with its feature set. It's super useful for restoring iPods, iOS devices, and also just viewing information. iDevice, GoFlash, here we are. I've got to import my 3.1.3. So I'm gonna hit flash, flash, crossing fingers. Well, looks like it's gonna go through. That's awesome. So that is the working method for Windows 10, Windows 11. You can download 3 tools at 3u.com. Got the URL here. Really helpful application.
man, I don't know. That was a lot of fun. I had a great time. <laughs> that was a blast. I hope you guys did too. Leave a like, leave a comment. Big thanks to this commenter for suggesting this video idea. Wouldn't have made it without you. So let me know in the comments if this works for you. And uh, until next time.